What's good my OGs? Today I have a different video compared to what I usually post up. The problem I was having is I've recently bought this new monitor which is an AOC CU34 G2XB which is a 34 inch 4K monitor at 180 hertz. The problem is this monitor here has only HDMI 2.0s and a display port 1.4. The HDMI is limited to 100 hertz and a display port to 180. The Xbox Series X that I wanted to play 4K 120 hertz only has a HDMI 2.1, and therefore no more HDMI cables wouldn't work. In order to have your gaming monitor obviously work with an Xbox Series X of 4K 120 hertz, you're going to need a special cable. Disclaimer, check your monitor and its settings, if it's capable of reaching this and which ports to need, uh, you may need. The cable I found that worked for me, and I'll show you the settings because it's based on the settings in your Xbox, also will determine if your monitor will be able to output the required amount. So the cable needed to perform 4K at 120 hertz is this particular cable right here. This is a Bolazu HDMI to display port cable, which basically has a 2.1 connecting HDMI port, which will allow you to connect it to a display port. So the HDMI port will leave the Xbox Series X as a source and go all the way to the display port in your monitor. This is what the cable looks like when you unpackage it. It has the display port on one end which goes into your monitor and on this other end pardon me using one hand is a hdmi 2.1 and a usb adapter this cable works because it uses an active source to change the frequency of the hertz that is able to be achieved from a display port. Without this USB, all cables that are simply display port to HDMI will not allow you to run 4K at 120 hertz. That said, not all cables are built equally. I've tried a number of cables and this is the only one that has worked for me. In order to have this work for you, you're going to plug the HDMI port into your Series X. And this USB needs to enter into a mains plug. Here comes my iPhone charger bit. This will be inserted into the USB part of the adapter. And this will go into the mains. Then the display port will enter into the monitor that all said this cable is also 50 pounds on amazon i believe in the us dollars is about 57 dollars pardon all this mark and i was trying to remove my personal details from it i will post the link to this cable in the description but this is the particular cable that you need to achieve this but your sentence has to be set in a particular order which i will show shortly okay so the first thing we're going to do is go to settings once you've plugged up your hdmi to the xbox the usb to your main power source and the display port to your monitor you're going to go to general and settings go to tv and display options and as you can see currently my resolution is 4k at 120 hertz okay to achieve this your settings have to match this first of all make sure in your setup it says 4k tv details it says that your tv supports 4k ultra hd at 120 hertz if you don't see that while you're in the settings your monitor can't achieve this that's the first step Next, you go to video modes and 
the only thing you tick on this box is allow 4K. For some strange reason, taking the other options like allow HDR or allow YCC 4.22 did not work on my monitor. So the first thing I will say is try this options. And if it does work, take these, allow YCC and allow HDR 10. And if it still lets you keep the 4K D 120 4K at 120 hertz, good for you. So that's the first step. That was in video mode. Second is video fidelity and overscan. Now you set overwrite to auto detect, color depth to 24 bit pixel, but some monitors will allow you to do 30. For mine to work at 4K 120 hertz. I had to set it to 8-bit. Ignore that, that's just me just overtyping. Okay, and also color space to PC RGB. When you change this, the monitor will automatically go into almost like a safe mode where the pixels are very poor quality. All you would need to do is go back, go to resolution and select the resolution by going up to 4K and that will be available. Now, the reason why you can't see 1440p on mine is because of the current settings I am on. If you wanted 1440p at 120 hertz, you would go to video modes and turn off the 4K. By doing that, 1440p would pop up instead. Hope you have a good day. Take care.